Hello everyone, it's me once again. So today I just want to share my thoughts on the uh, the dark side of YouTube Premium Membership, okay? So for the past couple of months, I decided to join the YouTube Premium Membership because there's huge benefit here, as I said from my previous video in regards to this, is that you can, uh, you don't, you no longer need to see commercials, but I think if you play some music channel, music video channels, sometimes you do have to see these commercials, but most of it you don't anymore and second of all if you're offline you could download certain contexts in advance so you could still watch those download contexts which is i love it it's really good and there's another one which is the play background sound despite you lock the phone etc those are the three main features but um when i logged into that settings i happened to found a extra uh function which is a family plan so as i said i'm pay playing uh, I'm paying one eleven ninety nine British pounds a month for the past couple of months, and they're asking for another six pounds to increase to seventeen ninety nine. Therefore, I can invite that privilege to send it to my family members and etc. So what I've done is I send it to my mother and my wife and also my brother in law um, and etc. And my brother in law uh, loves watching YouTube himself. Uh, he plays to his daughter and so on but um when he the way how it works is i have to send an email, email invite to them and when they accept it that's how they get become a additional premium family member but he was rejected because he is he lives abroad he's registered as someone living abroad permanently from where i am registered as a original um, youtube premium uh, member so what I did is I made a complaint to number one, I went for chatting. You know, you could go to complain and chat room with the one of the YouTube staff and I'm quite happy to share this context and he wasn't really the helpful. I actually tackled him saying that why would someone living abroad not qualify to become a family plan? And he said, hang on a second, I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. And he never did. So no disrespect by the way, but that was, I am actually quite happy to share that screenshot with you. So second of all, I request a callback, which is the quickest way, which I believe that you can contact, but you have to send your uh, channel link and so on. Um, but they will come back to you immediately. Um, and um, when I spoke with this lady who she later confessed, who's a YouTube star by the way, premium side of um staff you to staff she's she she actually acknowledged that problem as well she told me that she actually is from originally from abroad as well and her family lives abroad and uh, she's basically hinted that these sort of problems are likely to be improved in the near future but at the moment if you're thinking about if you are a premium member and if you're thinking about entering the family plan please be aware that all your family members have to be permanently registered as the same country that you live in okay for today's date which is 25th of january 2020 but it sounded like in hopefully within a short period of time hopefully within a year or i don't know uh, that they're going to change that but what I have actually had a, had a go at YouTube is that there, that wasn't really clear. It sounds like YouTube themselves are not really clear how they're going to continue with this all this package and uh, family plan and so on. But please be aware that that's the situation going on with the YouTube premium family plan. But I'll, def I'll still definitely recommend the YouTube um, premium becoming a member. Um, I have really enjoyed it. It, it seems my wife is also slightly enjoying it. My mother will really love it. And um, I really hope my brother-in-law who lives somewhere abroad permanently will also be qualified because I mean YouTube it's not like certain country has certain context we all in a different country are able to access technically unless you're living in China I think China is restricted but you're you're eligible to access most of the same videos anywhere in the country but when it comes to premium plan family plan you're not allowed to become a family member because you're living abroad is a stupid idea youtube should be more global and i'm very open about all these things but at the moment i'm very disappointed that it's not which i hope they will fix so anyway so i hope that explained to you about the, the dark side if you think there's any more problems uh, please let me know i'd love to have more further information but at the moment that is the majority major big issue for with me uh, so please be aware if you're thinking of becoming a family member plan premium member there's always this disadvantage anyway 
Hope you like my video and um, please do comment if you have any further queries and etc. And I'll be happy to come back to you. Okay, have a nice evening, weekend and so on. All the best. Bye-bye.